In your health headlines, it is the ultimate quick fix for busy families and people on the go, and most of us do it every day. Microwave food, but is it really safe? Dr. Mitchell Goldman with UCSD is here to talk about this. An interesting topic today, Dr. G, because this really truly affects all of us. And microwave safe doesn't mean necessarily what we think it does. No, it doesn't. Now, Kathleen, if the viewers can think of one thing, it's plastic. What plastic has is plastic has chemicals in it that are like act like estrogen. And so when you put plastic containing products, including styrofoam or plastic bags or even paper bags into your microwave, it's going to leach out those little chemicals that are going to affect you. And so essentially anything with plastic, including styrofoam, you don't want to do. Now, obviously, if you put in something with metal, what's going to happen, it's going to heat up and the sparks are going to start flying and it's going to burn your food and your microwave. But that's the, those are the most important things. And so really microwave safe has more to do with the microwave itself and the containers, but not really about our health. Well, it does with the health as well. So what we find is that the only thing that you really shouldn't be putting in a microwave is breast milk because if you put breast milk in a microwave the microwave is actually going to break down some of the very sensitive proteins and hormones in breast milk but you know microwaving is actually a really good idea to preserve nutrients because what nutrients things like vitamin C and other types of vitamins get broken down when they're heated for long periods of time especially in water and with microwaving you can heat things up more quickly and so you actually can preserve the nutrients and, vi and vitamins more easily in a microwave than you could boiling it in water. That's really interesting. So then what are the foods that we really shouldn't be microwaving? Essentially it's basically breast milk. So foods that contain hormones that you want to have, like you want your baby to have healthy hormones from breast milk, that's what shouldn't be in a microwave. Basically, other kinds of foods are fine as long as you cook them in glass or ceramic, microwave safe. Now, there are a number of different plastics that say microwave safe, but really what it means is that they can be used one time in a microwave, because the longer you use these plastic devices, even when they say microwave safe, the more likely they are to leach the chemicals, especially if they have sort of cracks or knife cuts and other damaging uh, in injuries to them. That's a really interesting caveat there. I'm glad you brought that up. Also, a lot of people say just standing next to a microwave may not be the smartest thing. What are your thoughts on that? Now, studies have shown that almost all microwaves made in the United States are safe, and you can actually stand right next to them, even with like a type of a Geiger counter to figure out if there's any microwave energy coming out, and there is none. But that is a really good point, Kathleen, because if you have an old microwave that's been taken from maybe house to house to house, House and banged around a little bit and the doors don't close properly, those are not safe. So as long as you have a microwave that's in fairly good condition that hasn't been broken or bashed around, you're going to be fairly safe from microwaves. Wow, I, you really updated my microwave thinking. <laughs> that is for sure. I'm going to be looking at it differently. Dr. G, thank you for being here. Always good to be here.